Royal fans assert that Meghan Markle was snubbed by Vogue following Anna Winter's decision to deny her a Vogue cover and exclude her from related events. The allegations focus on Anna Winter, the iconic leader of Vogue, who reportedly denied Meghan the coveted cover spot and barred her from associated events. For Meghan, appearing on Vogue's cover was a long-held dream, driven by her unique blend of royal heritage, acting career, and fashion sense. Reports on platforms like Tumblr suggest a frosty reception for Meghan within Vogue's corridors. An anonymous freelance photographer with inside knowledge claimed that key figures within Vogue, including Anna Wintour, harbor negative sentiments towards Meghan. According to this source, Anna hates Meghan. Kim hates Meghan. I heard this from Kindle. Nobody wants L or Archie on the cover. Neither can sell, and they lack the looks or style. Gigi could easily do it with a little push but she values privacy. Rihanna's son is adorable. His parents are stylish and good-looking. Everyone hopes to feature Charlotte for British Vogue in the future. Meghan's reported exclusion from British Vogue's final cover under Edward and Ninfal's editorship, particularly the prestigious March 2024 edition celebrating 40 of the most influential women, stirred widespread disappointment among her supporters. Despite her contribution as a guest editor for the Forces for Change edition in 2019, Meghan's absence from the star-studded lineup raised questions about her standing within the fashion industry. The absence of her name alongside other prominent women, such as Naomi Campbell, Victoria Beckham, Cindy Crawford, and Jamila Jamil, sparked speculation about underlying tensions or disagreements leading to her exclusion. Fans and commentators noted the irony of her omission, pointing out that several women featured prominently in the March 2024 edition were also part of the influential lineup she curated as a guest editor. Meghan's relationship with Edward and Ninfal reportedly soured over time due to creative differences and alleged demands during their collaboration. Royal biographer Tom Bauer explored these dynamics in his book Revenge, Meghan, Harry, and the War Between the Windsors, portraying Meghan as difficult to approach and detailing clashes over editorial decisions for the special edition. Bauer's insights painted a picture of tension and professional discord that may have influenced in Ninfal's editorial choices for subsequent issues. The fallout from this perceived snub underscores broader debates about Meghan's influence and acceptance within elite fashion circles. Her aspirations to merge a royal background with a burgeoning fashion profile face challenges, with critics and supporters alike scrutinizing every move and decision related to her public image. Observers note that Meghan's journey from Hollywood actress to British royalty and subsequently to global activist and influencer has been marked by highs and lows in public perception. Her tenure as a guest editor for British Vogue, lauded for its focus on diversity and empowerment, positioned her as a formidable force in both fashion and social advocacy. However, Ongoing scrutiny and controversies have also shaped a narrative casting shadows over her achievements and aspirations. As discussions continue within both royal and fashion circles, Meghan's absence from Vogue's esteemed final cover under Ininful's tenure remains a hot topic. Supporters see it as a missed opportunity to celebrate her contributions to diversity and empowerment in media, while critics view it as indicative of ongoing tensions and challenges in navigating the intricacies of fame, influence, and acceptance within elite circles.